It's a phone call John Bridges will never forget. I said, what's wrong, what's wrong? She goes, I've had an accident and I need, I need your help. His daughter panicked and crying before another voice gets on the line. He goes, I'm wanting to give your daughter back to you, but I, I need some cash. Bridges says he didn't end up giving money to the scammer thanks to his quick thinking wife who called their actual daughter to confirm she wasn't being held hostage. But he got close, even grabbing cash from home and driving it to a meetup location. When I first heard my daughter's voice, I mean, it was my daughter's voice. It convinced me that that was her. Calls like this have the Federal Trade Commission sounding the alarm this month, warning of advancing artificial intelligence used to simulate someone's voice in imposter scams, the most commonly reported fraud in 2022, with losses jumping to $2.6 billion last year. It's critical that people are aware of this technology is out there and that it's really very good. Voice cloning isn't a new concept, but it's becoming more accessible, accurate, and easier to use thanks to AI. Cybersecurity expert Tiago Enriquez, who says he's now seeing insurance claims for this kind of fraud, showed us just how easy it is. We're going to try and find some audio samples of you. He pulled videos from my social media and uploaded clips to one of a growing number of voice cloning programs. So it's literally a matter of dragging and dropping audio clips into yeah, this program. That's it. Then came typing what to say. And with the click of a button. I already tried to call the bureau. It was weird no one answered. That one's pretty good. But could I fool a colleague with it? Hello. Are you crazy busy? I forgot my corporate card. Oh, no. Can I borrow yours real quick? I just need to pay for a few things. I'll get the receipts. It wasn't perfect. There were delays and some sentences sounded more genuine than others, but... I gotta run out and get my wallet. It worked. Thank you so much. Call you in a bit. My colleague okay. later stunned by the generated audio's accuracy. So I pride myself on never falling for that stuff. Experts say to make sure you don't fall for it, be skeptical whenever asked for money in any form. Don't rely on the caller ID. Those can be faked. And even if it sounds like a loved one calling, hang up and call the person yourself. Are we going to see an increase in this sort of thing? I believe we are. As attackers get more familiar with these technologies, what they can do with it, how to operate them, we are going to see an increase in scam attacks. New technology requiring new lines of defense. Emily Ikeda, NBC News, New York. Thanks for watching our YouTube channel. Follow today's top stories and breaking news by downloading the NBC News app.